thing that's neat about this one right here is the rear view monitor. It has an electric drop down shade, dash air conditioning. Another thing, this one has a six speed Allison transmission. My dad and I have uh, worked together from day one and we worked together side by side when it was just the two of us. And it's been a great relationship. Some fathers and sons bond over a fishing trip, others while fixing up a car. For Jack and Trent Sizemore, it's wheeling and dealing RVs in Amarillo, Texas. Hi, welcome to Jack Sizemore's. How can we help you today? At this location, we have six and a half acres. We maintain about 130 to 150 pieces of inventory. It's a big operation. It's a big operation. We employ about 32 people. It's been an American story. I mean, my father was in the gas station business for 11 years. He began to rent an RV because he couldn't afford to buy one. And within the first year, we had six that we were renting. What started with a handful of rentals is now a dealership like any other. Well, almost. Here, the shiny new RVs come with a discount, but the oldest rigs are priceless. My son and I love old things. And we started trying to find places to go see old RVs and there weren't any. So we said, well, why don't we just build our own? Welcome to the newly opened Sizemore RV Museum, where the weather is always clear and there's never a flat tire. For a quarter century, Jack and Trent have restored vintage RVs from America's rich history of wanderlust. Eventually, their collection got so big, the only choice was to open a museum. Icons like Airstream, Winnebago, and Itasca are on display and packed to the brim with nostalgia. This is the first Chevrolet motorhome chassis ever built. Serial number? One. What's this right here? It looks like an old bus. It is an old bus. It's a 48 model flexible bus that the uh, Gornicky family actually drove. The in Gornicky? The yes, in the movie RV <laughs> with Robin Williams. Visitors to the museum could be crossing town or crossing the country, but no matter where they're from, they all get here down memory lane. It's really fun to hear people come in and talk, and sometimes they don't even know I'm in the building, and they'll come in and they'll start talking about, when I was a kid, we did this. It's so much fun. Big rock. When you walk in here, you can kind of hear people all over the whole museum, and that's what they're doing. They're saying, when I was a kid, my dad and I used to go in one like this, or we went fishing, and we had one that broke down and had the best time we ever had. <laughs> The RV Museum has been such a hit that they're already planning to double in size. That means more guests, more RVs, and more expenses for Jack and Trent Sizemore. They'll be busy for years to come with no end in sight. Bottom line, it's one heck of a deal. I love coming out here when I have time and walking through it with people that are in here. I love to tell them the history of the stuff, and it's just, this is us.